Oops. Seat, brake lines and bodywork. That's all that's left. So, before I put the floor in, or do any of the bodywork, there's a bunch of little bits that need doing that, well, they're not worth putting on the list, they're just little fiddly bits, so I think today's video is going to be fiddly bits. So, where the throttle cable goes, in the top of the carby, well, it sticks up above the body line, and to get it below, it's putting a bend in here that, well, these cables don't like that sort of bend. So, what I have to do is, well, I've got a piece of stainless Bundy line, which is brake line, and, well, it's the right diameter that the throttle cable can pass through it. So, I'm just going to, well that was a test bend, but put a bend in it so there's a piece will come up and out at a tight angle and this cable will slide through it quite happily. It's the outside that doesn't like bending. So, we're going to put a bend in this, nice tight one, make sure that the cable runs through it and then we're going to get some of this, which is the offcuts of the fuel line and that will make the end piece that the line fits into. So, let's start by bending tubes. Alright, so I've got my little tiny piece of Bundy tube with a bend in it and well, the other piece of pipe that's meant to attach, it's got a fair gap around it. So, I'm just going to shrink this down, put a taper on the end to fit snug over that and then I can just TIG them up. Nice tight fit all the way around. So, now I will just TIG that on. I'll just melt it in. And then I can shorten this side. And then shorten this side. So, getting TIGGY with it. Alright, that's finished. I've just got to cut the ends down to the right length. And then the entire thing will be hidden inside this black cover. So it's all nice and shiny, but you'll never see it. That piece is done. I guess we'll see if it fits now. First, feed the cable through. That fits on there. That was there. Then a cover goes over the lot, and we never see any of that nice stainless. Perfect. That fits, it's all hidden. And the carby works. 
So, that bit's done. Now, I've got my fuel line here. It comes up the side. Needs to be shortened a little bit, but I need to now make an adapter that goes from here to here. That's 8mm, that's 5mm. I'll bend up another piece of pipe, weld an end on it, and then I'll have an adapter to go here. Just like the last one, this one's going to be a shrunk tube fitted over like that and then that will go between the fuel line and the carby. Just need to shorten these legs a little bit and then weld it up. If I only shorten one side, the other side I've probably got to tweak him in a bit tighter still. Weld this on for now and worry about that later. Alright, so we're going to leave this here for now because I've got to pull lots of bits out to be able to do the mounts for the fuel rail. So, the next part is this panel needs to be attached. So, down on the inside here, we're going to put an angle bracket that comes up and has a captive nut. Then there'll be just a hole through this outside panel with a bolt to hold that in. I'm going to do a few more of them on the back panels as well. But in order to get to that, we're going to remove all this stuff because, well, it's not required now. I've got the brakes measured and ordered. So, take out the pedal, the drift brake, the shifter. Um, yeah, the fuel lines can come out for now, but they'll have to go back in to be mounted. Because I need to drill some holes and stuff. So, first step, clear it out. So, forgot to mention there was a bit of deconstruction that was required. It's needed to happen for a little while, but I was putting it off. But now, well, I'm at that point, it has to happen. The center console, well, it needs four roof nuts put in here to mount the relays. Uh, I might put in an extra one just for an earthing strap, who knows. But, yeah, so that had to come off to do that. But also, I've got to do some on the side rails here for the fuel line to bolt onto. And there was no way to get the drill through there with this in place. So, that had to come off. This gives me a chance to clean up the inside and put some paint on there. The throttle cable mount is in the wrong position now that I've got the bigger carby in there. Don't know. Well. So this has to be cut off and moved further down. So the spring mount is also in the wrong spot. I'll probably just put the spring mount through the side of this. So that's all got to be moved. The ignition switch 
thinking about plugging that hole and putting the ignition switch on the steering column and then I also have to make a cover that goes over all this and down the front. So what you've just seen there is me putting in roof nuts or nut zerts. So these four in here, that's where the four relays in the wiring loom will be screwed in and mounted. The other three, two here and one there. So when that's in there, the panel that comes down over the center console will have the three screws to hold it in and that's meant to hold all the wiring inside. I'm hoping these don't interfere with the chain itself, but if they do, then I've got a plan for that. But I'm not going to bother with that until it becomes a problem. So, now onto the fuel line. I'm not super keen on drilling holes in chassis rails because it's all very lightweight stuff. It's only 1.2 mil wall and well the chassis is a bit flexible to start with and having holes in the rails means that that's somewhere that it might crack so i'm going to be putting the nut certs in and then just melting the nut cert into the actual chassis rail around the edge to well strengthen the hole basically gusseting around the hole but having the thread in there Well, that escalated quickly. Well, I had to strip it down so I could lay it on its side. Yeah, there's going to be three roof nuts going in here to hold the fuel lines in. And then I'm also going to weld up a bunch of little spots that I've noticed that I've missed along the way. I also have to put some captive nuts on here and same on the other side for the panels to bolt into. Alrighty, so lots of little bits sorted. I still need to rearrange the ends of the fuel lines because they don't line up with where they're meant to. Uh, I've got to put some more rib nuts in for the fuel pump mount and then I am also going to weld in the center console properly. Then I can put in the little bracket for the chain guard mount. Alright, so, next thing is roof nuts in here. Oh, 
So after it's all painted, there'll be self-adhesive foam on here to help dampen the sound of the pump. Anyway, I still need to adjust the end of these fuel lines, but you've seen me bend fuel lines, so there's no point adding that to the video. Right, so we've got the rib nuts in. So now I've got the pump mounted. I've fitted the lines that go from the tank to the pump. They both run underneath the tank. I've redone the bends on the ends of these lines. So now pretty much the whole system is hooked up at this end. At the other end, I've shortened the hoop down. I got a piece of rubber hose in there. I've fitted this in. So this will act as the restrictor valve. So it will let a certain amount through, but then most of it should be pushed back to the tank. Hopefully not overflowing the carby. Well, that's good in theory, so we'll just have to wait and see if it works. Now, there's a couple of little modifications I need to do to the tank, so that's got to happen before I can run fuel through any of it, but it's very, very close. All those little bits and pieces I've just done have basically finished the chassis. So now, well, pretty much all that's left to do is put the floor in, do the bodywork, make a seat. Should be fun. Anyway, that's it for this week. As always, customize everything.